Hello everyone, this is Darwell20, and welcome to episode 23 of Darwell20's Let's Play series of Stoneblock 3, uh, where today I made a catalytic lens uh, between episodes and found my way towards the boss dungeon. Uh, so as you can see, we've got uh, a little bit of a, a walkway path here that I made. Uh, courtesy of my catalytic lens, which is the best. Uh, as a reminder, you can charge it up. So with a with a normal right click, it breaks a three by three. Uh, charge it up, and it breaks a little bit more. And if you charge it way up, it breaks way more. Whoosh! Look at that. Uh, pretty awesome. Not gonna lie. Pretty pleased with how cool that is. Uh, and basically, you know, dug my way, <laughs> courtesy of the catalytic lens, into uh, a nice little dungeon area. Super good times. Um, so with that said, let me let me set up a couple things. First off, I want to trash some junk I probably don't need. I don't know if I need these moss blocks, but I'll hang on to them. What I will do is, first things first, let's set up a flux point with a matter receiver that will be named End Boss Dungeon. Okay, and uh, since we made our way here, we complete this quest, which got me another watch of flowing time. Holy cow. Let, let me set this up too real quick before I forget. Um, so put away the watch of flowing time, put away all the junk that we accumulated. Let's set up an ender chest pouch import into refined storage setup kind of deal. Um, only because I feel like that would be smart to do. Cool. Uh, now, here's a question. Do 64K storage disks have an EMC value? They do not. And the reason is because processors don't. Okay, fair enough. That's fine. That's fine. Could I, like, craft one of those? We're missing silicon, which has EMC. Um, so because silicon has EMC, let me get a bunch of you. And let's make sure that we've got at least one of these in here. Ah, oh, we do good. All right, now I can make a couple more of these. And in theory, this is gonna work. Oh good, they haven't changed the recipe again. That's nice. But what I wanted to do, have an ender chest. Um, Let's just do our standard ender chest setup today, right? So we're gonna do this. Okay. Oh, you don't need to be super speed anymore. Um, so ender chest with an importer. And that should be cool. Though you may still be crafting that stuff, so that importer might take a hot minute. Yeah, it might. It might. Yeah, lots of crafting going on. I kind of like the dark mode thing, but also it's a little bit off-putting because a lot of mods don't expect you to have off like the the dark mode thing but it is kind of cool uh so importer and then stack upgrade and three speed upgrades should be easy peasy i'm glad i set these all up to be automated because you know that's that's a good thing to do we'll throw this in the basement no reason not to um, super doesn't matter where I put this. It's kind of the beauty of it. Uh, but I want to put it somewhere reasonable. That's a little bit out of the way. How about right here? You can open with a block above you. Yes, good, 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 good. Actually, let's put you one deeper. There you go. Importer. So anything in the white, white, white ender chest gets imported. Cool. All right, now we want an ender pouch. And that's easy peasy. Nice. Now we have a way um, to handle that. And we should be able to dial back up end boss dungeon, dial once, and boom, we're back to where we were. Haha, -ha, cool. All right, anything good in here? Uh, we got a tiny potato mask. Ooh, okay, that's cool. 
Uh, yeah, sure, why not? At this point, you know, we've got inventory to spare, right? Ooh, a weak blood orb, okay. That's cool. You know what? Let's just grab it all. Who cares? All right, so I assume that what I'm looking for um, is some semblance. Ooh, quest completed. That's right. I did have that this whole time, but it's the first time it's been in my inventory since... That thing opened up. Ooh, furnace wrapping papers. Right-click on furnace to wrap it as a gift. But won't the wrappings catch fire? Sneak and right-clicking on the furnace opens the gift. Okie dokie then. <laughs> That's a new one. Not seen that before. All right, where are we at? Um, also, everybody's been saying use cardboard boxes on these. What is on me? Slowness 3? Okay. Nifty. It's kind of lit in here. Which is interesting. If I just light you up, does that stop it? Because I kind of like the idea of, an, of a Vindicator spawner. Um, you know what we could do? Everybody keeps saying to make a cardboard box, which needs sawdust, which is made in the sawmill or the pulverizer or the precision sawmill. Do we have a pulverizer? Did I set one of those up at one point? I made a phytogenic insulator. I don't think I have a pulverizer set up just yet. So I can pulverize wood with a pulverizer. Let's do that. I like this idea because it means that I can bring them home. So that if I ever want, you know, or I could just get a Vindicator in a mob imprisonment tool. That's not a bad idea. We have a lot of gas tears. Do we have gas tears in here? We do. Okay. That's how many we get. Cool. There. Now, if I decide that I want Vindicators, I can do it that way. Okay. All right, go ahead and give me a Vindicator now, buddy. Thank you. All the junk. So let's see, I'm assuming this structure here in the middle is where I'm headed, right? So we want to keep heading in this. What the heck are you? Ultimate xylophone skeleton. Okay. And he dropped a xylophone. Ah! He has a lot of health, doesn't he? I guess they rebalance some of these mobs. That would be my only explanation. They've rebalanced some of the mobs. Ooh, a legendary loot crate. We should check that out, right? We should. Ooh, an advanced item collector. Okay. I would like to have one more thing in my inventory. Let's make it... it probably doesn't super matter what. Let's just put this here. So that way I know that these two rows are the open ones. So anything that lands in those two rows goes and gets put away like that. Cool. And then I'll just snag whatever happens to be in these chests. So this is the direction I'm headed now. Or maybe I should head down this path. I think this is the proper path. Yes, down here. This is where I want to be. I'm assuming this is where the, 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 the boss... Yeah, this is where the boss is. So you know what would be super cool is if I could teleport right here. 
So let's make another receiver. And let's make another flux point. I'm going to dial up the end boss dungeon. And then we're going to set up right down here. You on the dial 20 network. End boss spawner. Cool. Yes. Now what I'd like is a few feral flare lanterns. Uh, you know what? And maybe a mega torch or two. Just to completely prevent mob spawns. And then end boss spawner dial once. Hello. I have no idea what kind of range this thing's going to have, but... You know what? Let's just put them here. This seems to have some semblance of a pattern to it. So if I put these guys in the pattern, maybe that'll work. Now, if I teleport away, they mob should despawn because there's no player near them. Maybe. And then the end boss spawner. And now we have no mobs here? Ha! <laughs> clever Dyer is clever. Clever Dyer is clever. What is this place? Lots of weirdness. Oh my goodness, look at these cool things. A luminizer. Okay. So let's put away you so that these guys can go there. And then let's put this here so that everything can get put away. All right, there's definitely some loots here to be had. Oh, interesting. Yeah, there's like a lot of random mob loots, like a lot of random things. It makes me curious to know if there's like anything like super overpowered. I might I might go through some of these things and come back in a sec. But so far, not terrible. I like me some fat loots. All right, I'll be back in a few. Let me. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to go through some of these uh, and see if anything else really cool pops up. Be right back. All right, there was an awful lot of random stuff there. That's all I'll say about that. Just a ton of random nonsense. Uh, but I'm cool with that. What are these things? Oh, spore blossoms. Cool. I really like the look of this 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 end spawner dungeony area. Uh, indestructible summoning altar can't break. Summoning rituals mod. Sea lantern underneath it. Okay, let's get ready to do this. Oh, and somehow oh, I got bad omen from killing the vindicators. Maybe. All right. So to pull this off, we need eggs. Obviously, a lot of we have cold silverfish shards, warm silverfish shards, and the ritual starter. And apparently, you can farm these guys eventually. So, what do we got by way of shards? We've got a decent-ish amount, not a ton. And then the catalyst, which was what again? Come on, bro. Why are you being weird? There we go. Summoning altar, it's called Ritual Starter. Insert last to start the ritual. Okay. So, I mean, we have a decent amount, but we could absolutely use more. Um, but, check this out. Um, effectively, it tells you how to automate these with a quest. And it spells it out for you. Um, effectively, get a Drake Me Charm from Ars Nouveau. Uh, which, as you remember, uh, causes mobs to drop items without killing them. Uh, combine that with the stasis chamber from Industrial Foregoing to freeze the motherfish in place. 
Uh, and effectively, the Drigmi can then generate hearts without killing the Mother Silverfish. But the trick will be getting the Drigmi charm, which requires four Silverfish hearts. So you have to kill the Silverfish a few times in order to get enough hearts to set up the automation. And then we obviously have to get into Ars Nouveau. I, I think I want to do this. I don't know how many hearts we're going to need. Uh, but as you can see, it's used for some of the extreme crafting recipes. So we're definitely going to need some of them. Um, and then it can also go towards making... Oh, that's cool. Neat. So using dragon eggs and ethereal slates, we can make more warm and cold um, silverfish shards if we want. That's cool. I like that. But it requires getting into Botania Deep and Blood Magic Deep in order to, to make more warm and cold shards. So <clears throat> that's interesting. It's also used for making all the, the dark matter tools, which obviously is needed for the red matter tools. So I feel like setting this up is probably a good plan. Probably a good plan. Um, so I'm going to add that to my to-do. Is that a plan? That sounds good. But for now, let's give this thing a try. So home base... End boss spawner, dial once, ready to roll. Let's do the thing. All right, so what we do... Uh, oh, I forgot my eggs. That's right. That is right. Dial once. So we put... these guys here and then this last and this will summon the mother silverfish all right i mean i've got armor i've got healing i've got archangels I, we'll see what happens i have no idea what to expect i did not investigate what this fight is like at all i wanted to come into this like you know raw and kind of surprised so no idea what to expect from this fight let's do the thing that's cool i like that It's thinking about it. Uh-oh. Good idea, server backup. Oh, hello. Ah! What in the what? That was cool. Highly recommend having flight for this fight. to kill this ultimate skeleton. Here's a stick. Thanks. I needed that. It feels like at some point the mother silverfish gets immune to range damage, but I'm not quite sure. Oh, 900 health. There you go. Yeah. I can't tell... It gets immune to the stuff or not. Look at all the arrows just like spazzing out about this. It's funny. Like there's there's stages of the fight where the silverfish gets immune. That's all I can say. Oh, hello. Quest complete, silverfish art. Yay! We did the thing! Hey, that wasn't so bad, actually. That was not too terrible. I mean, granted, I have some pretty OP Project E gear, but it was not terrible. Um, so I got some silverfish shards from doing the fight, which is cool. And anything else particularly great? Mob imprisonment tool from my Vindicator. Hey, for a silverfish heart. Not bad. So we're going to want a few more of those. Um, four in total, so that we can make the drink me charm. So we have to do that fight three more times. Now, how many more shards do we have? Uh, I have enough cold ones to do it three more times, right? But I need more warm ones. So let's go get more warm shards. I will probably do this mostly off camera. Uh, we're going to head for the uh, let's get some more of these. 
Okay. Uh, and then I'm going to head for the nether dungeon. And what I'm going to do is stick these guys down here. And I'm just going to look around for more warm shards. That's all I'm after at this stage, right? And I'll be back in a few once I've found more warm shards. Cool? Annoyingly, I don't know which chests I have and haven't checked, so... Um, yeah, we'll be back in a minute. This will take a few. I'm literally just, like, flying through the area, ignoring all mobs, and grabbing what I can by way of warm shards. So, that's all you're missing. Nothing exciting. Lots of taking damage and ignoring it. And looking for warm shards. That's all I care about. I have a singular problem. Alright, maybe a few mobs I'll kill. Yeah. And if you think about it, I actually need a full stack of each. Because I need three more hearts to set up the automation. Uh, and, and I'm just going to validate this. Uh, the stasis chamber does not need hearts. Good. I need three more hearts to set up the automation. But I do need one more set of spawning resources in order to spawn the one that will be farmed. So, yeah, I need I need a full stack of these guys. Cool? Keep that in mind. So I'm going to keep looking for even more than I thought I needed. All right, I've got 64 and one extra now. So let's get out of here. Uh, and where I'm going to need to go next will be the... Cold fill it with overfish shard. So we're gonna need that from the stone dungeon. Dial once. And same deal. I'll be back once I've got a full stack of those. Now I feel like I explored most of this dungeon, unlike the nether one that I kind of didn't explore most of, but we'll see what happens. Alright, I think we're good. Alright, so let's get started on Ars Nouveau. Because A, super fun mod. Really definitely one of the ones I like a lot. Uh, and B because it's required to move forward. So what I want to do is progress through the mod to the point where I can make the Drigme charm. Then we'll make the Drigme charm. Then we will um, get... So in order to make the Drigme charm, we need four silverfish hearts. We have one so far, right? So I have to kill the silverfish three more times. That'll get me a total of four hearts. Then I need to summon it once more, use the stasis field from foregoing, and then use the drag me to farm it. And that should be cool, I think. We'll find out. Cool. So uh, first things first, let's get ourselves a spell book, even though I don't know that I need one, but it'll at least, you know, progress me a little bit through the mod. Uh, and I can even upgrade it. And I could probably upgrade it one more time. I just need the Wilden Tribute. Um, I think we'll stick with this one. Um, should be fine. Let's get uh, some stuff. So in order to make source gems, we need the imbuement chamber, right? And those are not too hard to get. We will need arc wood planks. So I don't think it matters what kind of arch wood, arc wood, arc. So how about I do this? Do you not? Okay. Bone meal. He may not have enough space to grow here? That's definitely possible. Let's do... Uh, maybe? We'll see? I don't know. Uh, center a she here. More like here. And dirt. There we go. That'll do for me. So now I should be able to EMC those bad boys. And maybe even speed that up. You know what? I left my watch. I accidentally put my watch inside of a thing. But that should be enough for now. Put you in there to keep. 
get a bunch of you, and then I can get imbuement chambers. Cool. Nice. And then we need lapis. And if I remember correctly, we just stick lapis in there, and that'll make source gems, of which I have some. Nice. And we can automate this um, as needed. We're going to see how deep we need to get into it, right? I'm going to start with the basics. And then basically what I need to do is I know once we get into... Um, oh, cool. Quests. Okay. Uh, once we get into storage controller pipes, worn notebook, steel axle sticks. Cool. Uh, once we get deep enough into the mod, uh, or, or into the pack, there is going to be a bunch of things that we need to... Ooh, Crafter Tier 3. Automate a lot of. And that's going to be in this section. So there's like source gems, right? So we need a source gem singularity. So we know we're going to need to automate this at some point, right? Um, and then like pig iron, train tracks, pallet and brush, infused ender pearl, like all kinds of stuff that we're going to need to figure out a way to automate so that we can make the singularity version of it, right? Um, and then that will go towards making some of the more end gamey things, right? So that, you know, is what's up. Cool. So I'm not going to automate it yet. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get through the silverfish part. Then we will work on automating some of the things when we get to the stage of needing to automate large numbers of things. Cool. So now, if I want Drigme Charms, we just need an enchanting apparatus. I've got the source gems. I've got seeds. I need Drigme Shards, which obtain by killing a Drig by giving a Drigme a Wilden Horn. Okay. So that would be a Wilden Horn to get the Drigme Shards. Okay. Used for obtaining familiars. Okay. I guess we'll figure it out. I have to read the book. Reading the War Notebook will probably help. There's probably a way to get them. I think normally Drigmies might spawn in... Um, well, normally but they've been said to spawn in planes like other animals. See War Notebook for more information. Okay. So maybe... Maybe they'll auto-spawn somewhere. You know what I bet I could get them from is that peaceful dirt stuff. Yeah, yeah. Um, this stuff, delightful dirt. Spawns more creature mobs. Yes. Okay, so that might be the way to get them. We'll find out. But I feel like that might spawn them, and that would be cool. Yeah, I like that plan. Okay, so let's do this. We've got uh, the delightful dirt. We need to get Dragme shards. We need to get four more of these. We need we have the enchanting apparatus, but I forget exactly how this works. I think we have to put things around it. Let's see. Um, glyphs, source. We need the, the source links. So I know there's a... Generate source by consuming burnable items. Okay. So if we got a volcanic source link... We probably want one of those, a volcanic source link. We should automate lava at some point. You know what? I have the vulcanite amulet, don't I? Didn't I have a vulcanite amulet? Yeah. So can I do this? Isn't there a... Oh, redstone. There you go. Right? Beautiful. And then that will um, just consume coal. What do I need? A hopper of some kind? You know, if it, if it can do any kind of coal... 
or consumable item. Does Eternalist Fuel count? Yeah, it might. Can I right-click it on there, or do I need to hopper it? Right-click doesn't work. And we could probably do a coal chicken to make this fully automatable. It says any burnable fuel, but maybe it's not true about that. Generate source by consuming burnable items. Uh, yeah. It said Arkwood logs equal a bonus. Yeah. Does it need to be dropped on the ground, maybe? That's possible. Oh, there we go. Hello. And then you go into nearby jars. Potion melder. That is not a jar. Sweet. That'll do. Okay, I guess one of those is 50%. Now, just out of curiosity, how much is coal? One percent. Ha! That's funny, actually. That's very funny. And you? Another one-ish percent. So, Eternalist Fuel is quite good. So, let's do that. Let's do um, Emerald Block. And Eternalist Fuel. Perfect. Okay. And then... That should be cool, right? Will it consume one at a time? Or oh my goodness. Does it consume entire stacks at a time? Because that's pretty cool. Neat. I like it. Alright. So now we have multiple full source jars. And then you can go off for a minute. And then we just need to figure out the enchanting apparatus bit. So uh, machines, enchanting apparatus around it needs to be... So we need the arcane pedestal, arcane core, and then enchanting apparatus, which we already have one of. So we need the arcane core. I don't know exactly how many of those we need, but we'll figure it out. So we need one core, and then I feel like we need like eight-ish pedestals. Perfect-ish. Let's set up, uh, how about over here? Now, how about we make our peaceful mob spawn here to mirror the evil mob spawn here? I like that. Uh, and then what we'll do is we'll have the next layer down in here will be the, the the next room. So this was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Is that what I did for all of them? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yes, okay, cool. So let's get our five by five by three. And then how deep did you go? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. Odd number, but okay. Now, I think I purposely didn't have Feral Flare Lanterns going on in this area because of the mob spawner.
All right, not terrible. And let's get our three by three by one area. Cool. That looks pretty good. And this can be my Ars Nouveau area. Until such time I decide I need more space, which I'm not sure. We'll see. That works for me. Uh, and then, uh, so it was nine across, right? So that's five. So then we're going to want uh, four more. So if I do this, that should work. Right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Didn't I destruction catalyst? Yeah, that's what I did, is I did this with... Uh, I had a destruction gadget ready to go. Yeah, that's what I did. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So we need one more. And that's perfect. Nope, that's five by five by three. We want you. Perfect. Now, if I had my destruction gadget, you're probably already set properly. Yes. With a depth of 13. Yeah, buddy. That's what's up. Now we're cooking. I should be able to put my Feral Flare, let's see, if you're here, maybe this will be fine, we'll see. I'm going to stick him for now, probably put one here-ish. And see if that's a problem. If it is, then I'll remove him and move him back further. I'm not quite sure if it will be. So far, mobs are spawning still. So that works for me. We'll see if he feral flares his way into that. All right, so Arcane Core goes on the ground. Then we're going to have um, the enchanting apparatus on top. Then we're going to have the pedestals around it within three blocks it says and then that should be cool especially considering we have source nice and then we can have our ergonomic source link here ready to roll good so now what we want to do is we want to review what's next um so volcanic source link good delightful dirt is a to-do so that we can get drink me shards right so here's what we want to do it says it spawns in plains biomes which i'm currently in so next episode let's come back i'll make the delightful dirt we'll set up a dark room like this but it's going to be a light room i guess um so how does delightful dirt work spawns more creature mobs will snow cap at night if exposed to sky light level below 10 stops creature mobs spawning all right, so when the lights are on, the mobs will spawn. When they're off, they won't. Does not work in ocean biomes. So here's what I'll do. This won't be an automated mob farm. It'll just be a manual one for now. If it needs to be automated, I'll automate it. But what I'll do is I'll just set up a room where they'll spawn. I'll get a drag me. Then I'll give it the wilden horn. That'll give me the thing I need. Then I have to kill the queen a few more times. Then we can set up automation for the queen. Next episode. For now, Double 20 sign off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Take it easy.